What's up everybody, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Uh, in today's video I have some special guests with me. I have John Mullen, Tim Hyen, and Molly Hyen. And they're from GearheadWorkspace.com and they're here to tell us a little bit about what's opening up uh, this summer, correct? 2015. That's the goal, yes. Alright, all right, Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you're opening up for us GearHeads. So hi, my, my name is Tim, as you said. Starting a company with Molly and John here called Gearhead Workspace. What we want to do is provide a, a garage for the urban gearhead. I've been into cars my whole life. Um, I've gotten into motorcycles recently as well. And um, and before when I didn't live in the city, it was really easy to find find the space to work. But now it's not as easy. Um, Molly and I live in a high rise. Many people in the city have very small garages or have to park on the street even. Um, so the goal of Gearhead Workspace is to solve all of these problems and give urban gearheads a place where they can come and do their own work and hang out with other like-minded people. Cool, man. I remember the car sitting behind you, um, I picked it up in L.A. and I was living in, in an apartment. And I remember some nights I'd be down there working on it and the security guard would walk up to me and go, Hey, what are you doing? I'm just working on my car. And I'd have to show them all kinds of identification. <laughs> Uh, what apartment are you in and stuff like that. So it's definitely a hassle when you're in that situation. All right, guys, so where do you think you're going to be located? Our plan is to locate on Elson Avenue. There's an uh, automotive corridor there basically between um, Addison and Irving Park. So there's a lot of, a lot of good locations that would be uh, potential, provide good potential for Gearhead Workspace. Um, and it's close enough to the loop that if people are working downtown, it would be easy access to get up there. And also a lot of a lot of our potential customers, I think, live near there, so it would be close to home for them as well. Alright, so Gearhead Workspace, what kind of services are you going to offer to DIY guys? The biggest thing we have to offer is space, lift, and tools. Um, so if you come in already knowing what you need to do, we have everything you need to get the job done. Um, we're also going to have an arrangement with NAPA and other, tool, or other parts providers. So if you get into a job and realize you don't have a part that you need, we can arrange to have that brought in 30 minutes or less, well, you keep working. So your work doesn't necessarily need to be interrupted um, if the part isn't, necess isn't absolutely necessary to move forward in your project. Um, in, addition, in addition to offering just DIY, you also have the ability to work alongside a mechanic. If you're tackling a job that is maybe a little bit above what you've done before, you can work alongside a mechanic who will make sure uh, that you're doing things right and not going to screw up your car. And then there's also the option if you but you already know for sure that a job is just beyond beyond your ability or just beyond the time that you have to work. Um, you can just bring your car in and have one of our mechanics take care of it for you, normal mechanic rates. It's always good to know you have the job done right the first time. Exactly. And if you do have a mechanic do the work for you, you can watch him do the work so you can learn from him and see what he's doing. Yeah. We found that a lot of the people we've talked to um, are current gearheads, but also they used to be gearheads, or they want to get back into it, so education is going to be a huge component of our service offering. Yeah, so we'll have classes even where you can come, and, you know, even for a beginner, they just want to learn how to do any work on their car, we'll have classes on how to do brakes, how to do oil changes, you know, how to do some of the basic things um, for those that want to get into working on their car more but really haven't had the opportunity to Gotcha. So there's some workshops and, and whatnot. Some of the yes, that. exactly. All right. All right, so what are your, your fees going to be like? Is it by the hour or membership? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, we will have a, a by the hour option where you can just come in and pay for pay for the, the lift bay with the tools. Um, if you're a non-member for a car, we're thinking that will cost about $40. For a motorcycle, obviously, that will be much less. Um, we're still working out the exact prices, but motorcycles obviously take up less space, so we won't have to charge as much for a, uh, for a motorcycle bay. Um, but then we also have membership options, which we're really excited about. If you pay for a membership, your hourly rate will drop significantly. Uh, for cars, instead of 40, you'd be down to 33. And then you also have access to our members lounge. We're going to have a special lounge in the back where members can just get together, talk about the, the stuff that they've done, the jobs that they've done, hang out, watch a race, whatever. Um, and then we're going to have special members events where members can get together, we'll go do maybe a hill climb or we'll go do an autocross day. Um, and then also what I'm really excited about for the members is that we want to have a, a project car. That will be for like 24 hours of lemons or something like that. 
and maybe we could do something with motorcycles around that same around that same vein. But just things to get the members together, um, get them involved uh, in in the hobby that they really want to be involved in. Um, and there's also another level of membership called the premium premium member, where it's basically like your garage. There won't be any charges per hour. Uh, you can just come in, use the lifts and the tools. And uh, there will be an hourly cap because we don't want someone to just put their car on the lift and forget about it all winter. Right. right. Um, but it'll be a cap that'll be set so high that if you are actually doing work, um, it'll be more than enough. You basically shouldn't ever have to spend anything beyond your membership fee if you're a premium member. And what we're looking at for that is three thousand for the premium membership per year and three hundred per year for the basic membership. Um, but right now, uh, we're doing a special called founding memberships, which we're selling at half price, so it'll be $1,500 to be a premium member and $150 to be a basic member, um, basically to get in, get in at the ground floor, and, um, and we're going to use this as proof of demand um, for our business when we go looking for uh, business loans. Gotcha. And where can people find out more about that discounted membership? So we have our own website, gearheadworkspace.com, and um, all, all the information about uh, the company is out there, and you can sign up for a founding membership right there. Cool. And our email addresses are there too, so you can send us a note if you have yeah. any further questions that we haven't answered. And you do have an email list as well, so people can join and find out more info as the date nears. Yeah, yeah. Also on the website, you can sign up for the email list, and uh, we send out send out regular updates um, on our progress. All right. So I do a lot of my work at night. You know, it's just through my schedule. But what are your what are your hours of operation going to be like? So right now we're planning on being open. Um, basically Wednesday through Sunday. During, on the weekdays that we are open, we plan to open a little bit later, probably not open until uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, um, but then be open until at least 9 o'clock at night, so people have a chance, um, if they have something quick, like an oil change or whatever that they want to do after work, they could do that. Um, and then on the weekends, we'll open a little bit earlier, probably open uh, at 9 o'clock on the weekends, and be open until, uh, until 7 or 8. Um, and again, that depends on demand, so we do want to hear from people when do you plan on working on your car? What jobs do you plan on doing? Because that really help us um, refine what we plan on offering. All right, so what kind of custom tools are you going to have aside from just ratchets and sockets and screwdrivers and stuff like that? Sure. Um, we want to have, basically we want to have specialty tool sets for any vehicle that we expect to have customers bring in um, that require, require certain tools. Like Audis, you know, working at Audis, you got to have special tools. Um, certain motorcycle brands, I know you have to have special tools beyond, you know, just regular ratchets and, uh, and wrenches and stuff. Um, so we want to try and have those specialty sets available for our members. Um, and then also we're going to have some of the bigger things, like we plan to have a dyno, we plan to have a tire machine, uh, we plan to have a welder, uh, although the welder will require taking a class or proving that you uh, have some sort of certification. Um, you're not just going to let anyone off the street come in and, and use the welder, but that will be available for those that are, that are properly trained. Um, we'll have a press probably, and um, and again, it comes down to demand. You know, when we talk to our customers and find out what they want, um, that'll help us determine what makes sense for us to to invest in purchasing. Gotcha. Okay. And I'd say one of the advantages of our location again is the fact that if there is something specialized that just financially doesn't make sense for us to invest in, like a paint booth or um, any advanced fabricating equipment, uh, there'll be shops along the area, and we've already created um, relationships with some of those shop owners to um, that people can outsource that to that work that we can't we don't have a facility for yeah I mean I even outsource stuff machining like uh, boring cylinder I mean my motorcycles or valve jobs I mean you can't do it all and sometimes it just makes sense to let the professionals do the, the hardcore stuff so all right so I hear you guys have some uh, events coming up just to get the community together and just, just to hang out, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we've been doing some Google Hangouts. We do those periodically to just bring the potential members together so that they can meet each other, talk about you know what kind of cars they have, what kind of jobs they're excited about doing once here at Workspace opens, um, and just meet their fellow fellow uh, future members. And then uh, the thing we're really excited about is on January 11th, we're going to be doing a pizza party at Leona's on Elston, which is close to where we plan on opening here at Workspace. So that'll be on January 11th, 2 to 4 p.m. Be free pizza. Um, just come and hang out and talk to other gearheads. And, they'll, and then if you join the, uh, the mailing list, we'll keep people up to date on all of the future events. Um, we're going to be trying to get members together at a variety of different things between now and, 
and when we actually open. All right, guys. Well, what's the best way to get in touch with you to find out more about Gearhead Workspace? The best way is um, you can send us an email at feedback at gearheadworkspace.com. We're also very very active on Facebook, so you can get on there and uh, post any questions you have, or um, you know maybe see who else is is um, following us. And that page is called Gearhead Gear Gear Workspace. Gear Workspace. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that interview. It's nice to see a group of guys like this and gals to open up some gearhead-related stuff. It's always nice to have a community like that to get together and, and work on projects. I wish I had somewhere to go like that. Maybe I'll have to come by and uh, bring my bike or my car by. So yeah, I hope to uh, see you out in the summer. Great. Well, thanks for having us. All right, guys, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. Thanks for watching.